Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode two of Linux Applications, a series where I showcase various applications that exist on Linux, ones that might be useful. And for this episode, I'm going to be showcasing two applications. The first one being Suse Studio Image Writer and the second one being Etcher. And the reason why I decided to show two applications is because these ones basically do the same thing. It's just basically personal preference to which one you would prefer to use. So if you want to say test out a Linux distribution and you want to write the image onto your USB thumb drive, it's for these both of these programs are very fast, very easy to use. As you can see just simply by looking at the SUSE Studio Image Writer, you can see it's a very simple design, nothing confusing about it. And it even says it itself, you can either drag the image right there or you could just click on the previous image and try to look for it in your uh, folder and right now it shows which image you have selected and once you insert your USB device which I'll do right now you can see that it's very responsive it detected it right away and as simple as that all you click is just write and then it begins processing it and you're good to go once it's finished. So that's that for Sue Studio Image Writer. Again, it's very simple, very basic, easy to use. And if we take a look at Etcher, it's basically the same thing. They basically have the same options. Essentially, you select the ISO, then you select the thumb drive, and then you just click flash or write. But as you can see, the difference is primarily in design and aesthetics. This one has uh, everything kind of in a step process. Now I've already selected all this type of stuff but if you haven't selected the ISO then you go into that and then if you haven't selected a drive as you can see it prompts you to select a drive but if you just put in a drive right after you've opened the program then it just detects it automatically and then you just click flash. And if you notice here there's a kind of settings icon. It does by default send report errors and usage, usage statistics so if you don't like that, if you don't want to send any information, you could just uncheck it and then you're good to go. And it also gives you other options here such as auto unmount, validating the write on success and unsafe mode which I'm unsure what that is. So basically that's it for both of these programs. Hope you found this useful, and yeah, that was basically it. Thanks for watching.